Lenovo's ThinkPad T14 range has always been a popular business laptop. The T14S Gen 3 is a slightly slimmer sibling of the T14. New for this year is the new AMD Ryzen 6000U and Intel 12th Gen CPUs, USB 4, 16x10 display options, including a 2.8K OLED 90Hz panel and a redesigned case. Does it hold onto its crown as the best 14-inch business laptop? Let's find out. The T14S weight starts at 1.22 kilograms or 2.69 pounds, bringing it closer to its more expensive cousin, the X1 Carbon. It's ultra lightweight to carry around meetings, but there's still the military standard 810H tested rigid magnesium chassis. Everything feels well put together and the display lid gives good protection to the screen. The anti-smudge coating works well to keep your fingerprints at bay. The T14S has a choice of grey or the ThinkPad black colour chassis with certain G3 models. To open the bottom maintenance cover, loosen the five captive Phillips screws and pry open. DDR5 memory is soldered on so it cannot be upgraded. Tip, at time of purchase make sure you order the 16GB variant or the maximum 32GB model. Its cousin, the T14G3 Intel, has a single sodium memory slot. The M.2 2280 SSD and the 57Wh battery is removable along with the optional wireless WAN card. This review model has a 14-inch WXGA 1920x1200 IPS anti-glare display panel. It's a new 16x10 aspect ratio, low-power, blue-eye reduction screen, great for additional document or web page height. The 400 nits brightness is perfect for most lighting conditions including sunlight outdoors. 72% NTSC colour space accuracy is fine for the target business user, but not if you intend to use it for Adobe Lightroom or video editing work. In general usage, the display is excellent to work on for long hours. Whether you're working on a PowerPoint presentation, talking to colleagues at a Zoom meeting, or watching catch-up TV in the evening. Due to the 16x9 new chassis, there's a smaller screen bezel below the display panel. The twin hinges open up to the traditional ThinkPad 180 degrees flat. There is a 2.8K OLED 90Hz screen option, offering 400 nits brightness and DCI P3 100% coverage. On the left we have a USB-C 4.0 Gen 3 port, a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port, HDMI 2.0B, a USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port and a headphone microphone combo jack. Either USB-C ports can be used for charging. On the right we have a Kensington Nano Lock, a USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, an optional smart card reader. The mechanical docking port that doubled as a mini Ethernet port is removed in the Gen 3 model. However, the T14S gains support for USB 4.0, whereas the T14 G3 AMD does not have USB 4. The wireless card inside the T14S is a Qualcomm Wi-Fi 6E NFA725A 11AX 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.1 one combo. Wireless connectivity during testing was reliable and solid. Bluetooth to an external mouse was excellent too. The keyboard in the T14S has been reduced slightly from 1.8 to 1.5mm key travel. If you are a spoilt long time ThinkPad user, you'll notice a difference. If you're a first timer, you'll find a brilliant concise keyboard to type on for long hours comfortably. There's two level backlighting activated by using the function and spacebar keys. Due to the chassis width shrinking from the Gen 2 variant, some of the keys on the right of the keyboard are smaller, like the enter key. The 115mm trackpad has a smooth surface area, giving a positive glide action for your fingers. The integrated buttons have a solid tactile feel and not too loud. The track point is present with three dedicated buttons, useful for tight situations like sitting on a crowded train. The T14S has Adobe Audio Speaker System with Adobe Voice AI noise suppressing technology. Audio from the two top firing stereo speakers is very good with clear, warm tones and a sprinkle of bass thrown in. Volume was loud enough for a Teams call with a small group of colleagues. The full HD webcam with IR sensor is good for video calling to family and work colleagues. As with all laptop webcams, good lighting will vastly improve picture quality. There's a webcam privacy shutter to stop anyone from appearing uninvited. Inside this review model, 
model we have an AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 6850U 8 cores 16 threads 2.7 gigahertz up to 4.7 gigahertz TDP is rated at 19 watts the pro version offers additional security features similar to Intel's vPro processors along with a micron 16 gigabytes of DDR5 6 400 megahertz soldered on memory and a Hynix 512 gigabytes PCIe Gen 4 NVMe M.2 2280 SSD the T 14S G3 flew at sonic speeds with most office workloads. Everything from edge tabs to Word documents opened smoothly and rapidly. The AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 6850U sits just behind the Intel i7 1280p and AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS in general benchmarking scores. For our performance test, we set maximum performance mode in Windows. Benchmarking results also show excellent scores. Cinebench R23 testing produced a score of 9,677 multi and 1518 in single core. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score of 2601, CPU score of 7266, and a graphics score of 2337. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme overall came in at 1201, graphics score 1076, and CPU score 3533. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 6116. Geekbench 5.4.5 gave a CPU score of 1488 in single single core and 7810 in multi core and 32001 in the computer benchmark superposition resulted in score 4431 Fan noise from the single cooling fan remains very quiet even under load with a maximum 38 decibels. If your ears are sensitive, this is one business laptop you can happily work in the spare bedroom or noise sensitive environment. During normal work usage, heat is kept down. Under load, the temperature does climb over 40 Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit in the middle of the chassis to over 48 Celsius or 119 Fahrenheit by the side vent and fan, not one to work on your lap with. The integrated AMD Radeon 680M GPU is one of the fastest available, clocked at up to 2400 MHz and 12 CUs based on the RDNA2 architecture. In general benchmark results, it easily beats Intel's own integrated GPU, the Iris Xe, and Nvidia's GeForce MX450. The 680M isn't too far behind the MX5500 either. For a business laptop, the T14 G3 will do some gaming after hours. The Radeon 680M will manage smooth frames per second in medium to high settings for older titles. Demanding titles like Cyberpunk 2077 will play in low to medium settings. Halo Infinite will happily play smoothly as well as less demanding titles like Fallout 76. The 680M GPU is useful if you play a game or two after work, but if you want to play hardcore AAA titles, stick to a laptop with a dedicated GPU. Inside the T14S is a 4-cell 57.14 watt hour battery, running typical office tasks like open browser tabs, office apps and teams. Battery life came in at over 8 to 9 hours, great for all day productivity without taking out the charger. Under heavy load, battery life dropped to 1.5 hours. The Type-C 65 watt power adapter supports rapid charging. Expect a full charge to take over 1.5 hours, top up to 50% in 30 minutes. As the T14S is a business laptop, you expect some security features built in. There's a webcam privacy shutter for starters, a Kensington Nano Lock to stop someone taking off with the laptop, Microsoft Pluton security technology, and a DTPM 2.0 chip thanks to the AMD 6000 series CPU. There's no fingerprint reader if you have not opted for this at a time of purchase, otherwise it's integrated into the power button. The good, the bad, and the really bad. Performance King. The AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 6850U is definitely a beast when it comes to multitasking with several apps and browser tabs open. The integrated GPU is one of the best on the market and all this with frugal power consumption. USB 4. Great to finally see a USB 4 40 gigabits per second port available on an AMD laptop. In the past you had to buy an Intel laptop to get Thunderbolt ports. Useful for driving dual 4K monitors, 100 watt power delivery and ultra speed data transfer. King of Keys. To some die-hard ThinkPad users, this will be controversial as Lenovo have reduced the key travel to 1.5mm and some keys on the right have shrunk to accommodate the 16x10 chassis. However, when 7 users during testing were asked to type on the T14S keyboard, everyone said it was the best keyboard they had used. It's not perfect, but still an excellent keyboard. No Ethernet port. If your Wi-Fi signal is poor where you work, you will need to look at the T14 Gen 3 if you want an integrated port rather than using an adapter. No fingerprint reader. Stingy to charge £13 or $16 for the optional fingerprint reader on the T14S. Soldered on memory. 
But where, as stated earlier, the memory cannot be upgraded after placing an order. If you're a power user, look at the 32GB DDR5 model for a love of £73 or $90 instead of the 16GB variant. If you were in the market for a business ultra portable, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here's some to consider. HP EliteBook 845G9, Dell Latitude 7420, MSI Prestige 14 Evo, HP Elite Dragonfly G3, Acer Travelmate P4, Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, Asus ExpertBook B5. Let's get this out of the way. The Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 3 is the pinnacle of a business laptop. The Gen 3 model has fused together a perfect marriage of the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 6850U powerhouse processor, giving ample performance, integrated graphics, and great battery life. Then there's the 16x10 bright, crisp display, plenty of ports including handy USB 4 for the first time. All of this wrapped up in an ultra lightweight rock solid chassis. The keyboard isn't perfect anymore for seasoned ThinkPad users, but it's excellent for most business people using it. Strangely, the slightly larger cousin, the T14 Gen 3, has smaller battery options and no USB 4 ports on the AMD variants. You do get a single SODIMM slot for slower DDR4 memory, but confusingly, only on the T14 G3 Intel models. Overall, the Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 3 AMD is 100% dependable, an exceptional business laptop that won't let you down. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 3 AMD laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.